All right, we're on another field trip today. Today we're gonna learn how to indicate with a dial indicator, or some people will call them a finger indicator. Uh, our, uh, we, we've done working on zeros, what your zero is, what your datum or your reference point, it's all the same, where your absolute zero is. And I've told you there's a couple ways to do that. I wanna do that today in person on a nice manual mill right here, <laughs> a nice old manual mill. But it's the perfect machine that I learned on back 30 years ago, and it's the ideal machine to teach on. Once you understand the concept of these manuals, you can feel that end mill, you can feel that drill. It's gonna give you an understanding that a lot of people in today's machine shop industry don't know because they spent years feeling that tools and they have a very good idea what them machine motors are pushing when you get into the uh, CNC machining centers. So let's take a look at what we have right here. Today we got our old friend dial indicator. And let's say we wanna make our reference, our reference in this part, zero. Okay, um, we have uh, our reference in this part, excuse me. This hole right here, we wanna make our reference. We can make any hole, but you get the point. I'm gonna make this my zero, my absolute zero right here. For that, let's say the customer comes back and says, I love the part that you made, but I need a hole right here. It has to be exactly right there. And I can do a little math and subtracting, reverse some simple equations, and I can say, okay, but it has to be in reference to the rest of these holes. Okay, so I can pick any hole I want because I know the distance from the new hole to the ones that I already put in. He revised the print, we'll say. I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna call this my zero. This, any one I want to, I'm gonna call my zero. And this, this um, uh, analogy and this uh, display, I am going to uh, show you how to make this hole your zero using a dial or a finger indicator. So the first thing we do is we were way off whack here. We don't know where we are. And um, I am going to Scoot over there as good as close as I can to my with my eyes. Keep your eye on them needles. Them needles like the brake. Okay. Now I'm gonna line this up and I'm gonna bring that over in my X as well as I can. And then I'm going to let me see if I can. Okay. Get this and I can see that that's pretty close. Now what I want to do is get closer to the circumference of that circle, giving me a general idea. About that far away and that far, I can see my X. See, once I turn it perfectly 90, I'm gonna take my Y down here, I'm gonna move it. I'm gonna just try to get it so it's in the center of the air. And I'm gonna to try to get it here. So as you can see, that needle stays, I could probably move my X a little bit. You want that needle to stay. And then you can just get down a little closer here so you can get it. Watch the tip of them needles, they break easy. Now I'm gonna see easier. See, I'm gonna swing it all the way from the left to the right. I can see my X can go a little farther that way. And let's see my Y. I'm right, I'm, I'm getting it close to that zero, aren't I? See, this is just a matter of eyeing it up to get it there. Now that I'm about as close as I'm going to be, I am gonna take this indicator and bring it down. And I'm gonna, these are all pivotable. So bring it down in that hole a little bit and I'm just slowly with your finger, bump it up in that wall, right about, so you can read that dial, okay? Anywhere, any number's fine. All we're gonna try to do is make that hole still. Okay, now if you look at me, I'm gonna hold the dial straight to me. So now I'm gonna swing it this way. And you can see it went from five. It's pretty close already. My eye is pretty close. Okay, now I'm gonna want you to, I'm gonna to come to this side for the camera guy. You hold it on that dial. Keep an eye on that number right there. Bring it over there. Let's look right at that number. There you go. Now let's slowly bring it around. You can see it's going up right there, see? So now let's take, now you see it's that way. I'm gonna come over here with my hand. X is on both sides. I'm gonna crank this until I get that. Let's bring it back over to the dial. And I'm actually trying to see, I'm actually gonna come to the right side. You can stay right there, camera guy. And I'm gonna bring it down, oh, the other way, just so I get closer to where I started. And it looks like that's just about out of travel, which is fine, I'm moving that way, okay? I'm just trying to move in the direction. Now I can see that I have to pull this indicator out a little more. There we go. We need, we're going to want to use potential travel here. There. Now, now, it doesn't matter where it stops. You can see it's about eight. Now let's go cameraman and follow me back. We'll go real slow here. What you want to do is have that number the same on the left and the right. And that's quite a far off right there. Okay. But we can see that we're off to zero there. I'm gonna come back. And right there. So what I wanna do in my X, because I'm only going left and right right now, 
Now I'm gonna bring that back a little bit with my X. I'm cranking my X right now. Okay, now let's go back again. See, look, it's holding closer to that initial 10. I'm right there, it's 10 and 10 on that side. Now, all, now I know I got my X in, I'll just come back to the front here and stop right in the front. And I can guess what you gotta do to my Y. I'm gonna bring it right down here. My Y, I'm gonna crank. Okay, now bring it back up there. I'm gonna crank just till I get to that 10. Boom, right there. Now I'm gonna swing it left here. Look at that, look at that, right there. It stays very close. And I'm gonna come back over here. Look at that, you're right there, you're right there. And I, I, normally I can't get the camera out, but if I could swing it behind me, you would see that it maintains the same. I don't have to because it's a circle. So it's common sense, it's gonna be the same. Now I'm gonna go up here by this readout and I'm gonna say X zero, Y zero. It's a little hard to see, but they got that plastic on it. Boom, I just pick this head out of the way. It's a CNC thing. I'm gonna take that head and pick it up out of the way. And that now is my absolute zero right here on the readout. Now I can scoot anywhere I want with them numbers, X minus, Y minus, anywhere I want. Let's imagine they want a hole to the left of that one inch. Watch that readout up there. I'm just gonna scoot left one inch. See, one inch. I mean, you're dealing with numbers there. And then I'm gonna scoot Y, let's say minus one inch. Watch that readout. I'll try to hold minus one inch. I'm just cranking the handles down here. It's easy to talk to you and display this. Minus one inch. Boom, now if you look here, we're no longer over there. We're X minus and Y minus one inch. If I were to put a drill in this chuck, you would drill a hole exactly one inch to the left and one inch down from our absolute zero. And that is how you indicate a hole with a dial indicator. I will uh, share with you here in a little bit how to do it with our edge finder. I explained it, but what the heck, we're at a field trip. Uh, we'll do it uh, next time, maybe in a little bit here. Thanks for watching. CNC machinists made easy.